Hello, today this one is for all of you brand new beginners. Of course, if you're not a brand new beginner, you're welcome to watch this tutorial as well. And this is something that we'll be building on over the next couple of weeks. But today we are just working through Silent Night in a very, very simple form. We're just learning the right hand, we're just learning the melody. And I'm walking through step by step every single thing that you need to know to be able to play this beautiful Christmas song. Uh, we are about a month out from Christmas, so if you're starting this today, I'm filming this about a month out from Christmas, if even if it's Christmas Eve, I bet you'll be able to sit down and work through most of this and really kind of be able to manage Silent Night by the end of Christmas Eve, be able to play it on Christmas Day. So let's just get right into it. So the song essentially has three lines and we're going to learn them one by one, just in little bite-sized chunks to make sure that we're really familiar with everything that we need for this song. So in case you're not so comfortable moving your way around the piano yet, we're going to start by finding middle C. That's our C that's in the middle of the piano, more or less the one that's closest to the name of your piano. So just as a quick reminder, we have the two black keys and then to the left of that is C, the one in the middle of the piano, we call middle C conveniently. So if you put your right hand thumb there, that's actually not where we're playing, but it's going to help us find the note we need. So G is here. If we have every single finger on a white key, then your fifth finger is going to be on G. We're going to slide over there with our second finger and we actually only need three notes to get started. We have G, A, G, E. So let's give that a try. And we're going to play that with two, three, two, one. You're familiar with this, right? So that's the first half of our first line. And let's talk through really quickly how we need to be counting this. So we want to be counting one, two and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. It's not the simplest of rhythms, but I'm quite sure that you're familiar with Silent Night and that you won't have any troubles picking that up. So we have this Silent Night, and that repeats. We need to move over with our fifth finger to play in the middle of this group of two black keys. D, two, D, B with the third finger, three, and then C, C, two, C, and we're jumping down to G, the note that we started on. So that's our whole first line of this song. Let's put that together now once and let's try to keep it really, really steady. Let's go nice and slow. I'll walk you through it, but let's keep it really steady. So we're starting again on G, A, G, E, and then we slide over with our fifth finger. Basically just needs to slide one key further. If we have second finger on G, then we have three on A, four on B, five on C. To move over for the second half of the line, we really just need to shift the hand over by one key. One, ready, go. G, A, G, E, two, repeat. G, two, A, G, E, two, three, slide over. D, two, D, B, two, three, C, two, C, G, two, Practice that as much as you need. You can also practice it the first half and the second half. So practice just until you get really comfortable with that. And then you can practice the next little half of the line. Until you get familiar with the notes, with the fingerings, with the rhythms, and then you can put everything back together. From there, let's move into the second row. So this row is actually just exactly the same thing two times. And the first measure is new, but the second measure we've learned already because the second measure is actually exactly like the very opening of Silent Night. So we start now with three on A, and that'll sound like this, I'll show you once. And then we have our opening. 
did misspeak a little bit. It's um, two measures is the new pattern and two measures is the pattern that we know already. Technicalities, they're little chunks. So let's work on that together now. We, so we have three on A and we want to be playing A2, A, C, two, B, A, and then we have the chunk we know, G, two, A, G, E, two, three, and that just repeats. So this time I'm just going to count. I'm not going to say the note names. One, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, three. So again, practice that as many times as you need to get really familiar with it and then we'll move on to our final row in this piece. So we again have a new finger position. Now we're starting with our third finger on D. Uh, I'll show you how it sounds first and then we'll work through it together. So let's break this into halves. It fits really nicely into first half of the row, second half of the row. So we're starting with our third finger on D. And this part is actually really interesting because we need all five fingers and we're skipping around a lot. So we have D two, D F two, D B C two, three, E two, three. So if you wanna keep track of fingering, that's three, Three, five, three, one, two, really long, four, also long. And then let's practice counting that once together. One, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Practice that half of the line as many times as you need. I know I'm a broken record, but it's very important to practice these little chunks before we do too much information all at once. We don't want to get overwhelmed. We want to give our brain bits of information that it can work with and break down really well. Then we're going to slide, so we were here. Now we're going to slide with the fifth finger over to this C. And it starts with some kind of big jumps and we have to stretch out a little bit. So we have C, G, E with five, two, one. And then I want you to slide over with the fifth finger to play the G that we just played with the second finger. Five um, on G, F, D, C. So let's break that down a couple of times, nice and slow. I just told you the note names. Now let's go over fingering a little bit more concentrated. So we have five, two, one with a little stretch in between one and two there. The fifth finger slides over to G and we play five, four, two, one. And then what does our rhythm look like? So we have one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three. And I would add a whole other measure and really make that a nice long C. This is such a beautiful melody. Sometimes it's the most simple music that's the most heartwarming and this is a really nice example of that. Of course, you might be interested in adding some more detail to this. You might want to learn the left hand. You might want to start to create your own variations. And so to finish up this video, I've recorded just starting with a very simple left hand that if you want to get started today you can also kind of check out what I'm doing and see if you can copy it on your own and if you need some help there will be another video coming very soon to help you kind of create these variations in the left hand on your own but um, I thought I would just end this video by giving you an example of how that may sound I hope you enjoy it I hope you're enjoying your holiday season and may it be musical and bright and cozy and until next time happy practicing